Welcome to the OSRS Podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related things, news, subject, and talk with content creators. Remember, every Sunday we're going to be uploading a new podcast. Hit that sub button. Feel free to check them out. I am one of your hosts, Mitt Mad Cal, followed by... Yo, what's going on, guys? Regsy here. hair. And Rice Cup, as usual. Rice, right, you're posted. And, okay, <laughs> so today we're hosting um, somebody that you might have never, ever expected uh, his name's Oak Dice. You know, you you guys probably have heard of him. Dude, look at the scuffed ass podcast. His videos. Holy shit! <laughs> what, what, is <laughs> what happened? What happened? Is, what is, is, is ne- yeah, no, it's fine. His name was like all the way down here. So yeah. Just, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Whatever you do, it. <laughs> no, no, fuck it. Just let just let it roll, man. Just let it roll. Sorry, Oak. Usually, Rice will introduce the person with us here but we got oh, oak dice yeah. a man who uploads very unusual content um <laughs> would you like to do your own intro my man do you have any yeah, yeah. Intros? I mean, yeah go for it what's up guys uh my name is oak dice you can call me dice and basically i just upload drama on the channel and um that's about <laughs> it that's what I, hey, I, I like anime too there we go okay. that's hey, about it no right with that. yeah not just any drama runescape drama hey, dude like, that, now, let me hit him up with this first question, man. Do you mind? All right. And we're not going to do this, of course. This is just for memes. But if we title it uh, Exposing Oak Dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's cool. Yeah, that definitely <laughs> gets you. You heard, it, you heard it here first. So everybody right. clicked on this podcast. You get debated hard. <laughs> so yeah. be- before we get into like the drama side of things, like I'm just curious, like your RuneScape background. Like, How long have you been playing RuneScape for Oak? All right, so I want to say maybe 14 years. Um, Damn. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about the whole background or just the summary? Like what? when you first knew about it. Hit us up with that childhood, man. All, All right, so it. I'll give you guys the whole deal then. Make this there a little go. long. Yeah, um, that's good stuff. I played pre-EOC for a long time. <clears throat> I always wanted to make a lot of money. And one day, I remember clearly I was doing um, Frost Drags. And some Arnold guy was like, the yeah, classic. yeah, the good days. Um, one guy was like 55 times two. And I'm like, hmm, what's what's going on here? Basically, um, oh, no. I did some guy. Yeah, this is where it started. <laughs> Gambling. I lost my cash. And from that point on, I told myself, yo, I wanted to be a dicer. And um, that basically happened. I made the YouTube channel Oak Dice, which is why Dice is in my name. Um, after that, when because they ban dicing um yeah yeah they banned it hard <laughs> yeah. it's gone, dude. Uh, i went ahead and just started swapping and then from there i just did drama videos and i guess that's it it was not really a long story actually yeah how, how did you like en- mm-hmm. how did you end up transitioning from like you know that to the drama and like, before you know, we jump into that you was yeah. your name just Oak instead of Dice then? Nah, it was Oak Dice because I made. Okay, the it was always Oak Dice. Okay. Yeah, you started the YouTube channel when you started like and uh, participating in that stuff. In yeah. the dirty. When it was a lot. Yeah, a lot. in the grime. Yeah. <laughs> the grime, dude. <laughs> yeah. So right, were, so you said you were killing frost dragons. So were you like a, a skiller, PVMer? Like, what would you classify yourself as? Like back in the day, like what did you start out as? Like, I guess everything. Oh, okay. Oak Dice used to slap some cheeks in Edgeville, dude. Yeah, bro. Is that what I'm slaying, hearing, dude? You were slaying, huh? What about now? You don't PK anymore? No uh, sweet edited PK vids on the channel, huh? Uh, I'm, <laughs> in, I'm in my zone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what would you, like, say you are now? Because I, I don't really, I'll be honest, I don't really watch too many of your videos, but I see that you play an account called Her, and it's got, like, a mm-hmm. couple 200 mils, right? So, are you, like, a skiller, or, like, what, what, what's your deal? What would you classify yourself as nowadays? um as a player because i would love to call myself a skiller but my skills aren't really skills you know i have 200 mil fletching which is i wouldn't really consider a skill 200 mil strength was all afk so i guess i'll just call myself a player i wish i could be a skiller though that'd be nice or considered one okay and yeah you got like a couple 74s and a couple 200 mils that's weird as fuck dude (laughs) (laughs) dude you have money so you can like power through that fletching yeah. Easy. <laughs> right. So, um, is is this Oak? Is this the account Oak Dice, or is this like a different account? This this her account. 
Uh, okay, so her is actually a hardcore because I did a hardcore series for a while, and then yeah. I just I remember that. It. Yeah, yeah. I just randomly ended it, and that's the uh, her account. Yeah, because I I remember you were going for some crazy ass range XP if King Wyverns and shit. Because like yeah, I, I played my hardcore Wyverns. at the time. Yeah, I, I played I played my hardcore at the same time. You know, when it all started. Yeah, I remember watching your videos when I used to play. <laughs> I'd always watch your videos, dude. You and so. Uh... Oh yeah, damn! That, that's yeah, kind of nuts. That's okay. like a newish account, then. Like you only made this one a few years ago, and you got two two hundred yeah. mils. That's actually impressive. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Thanks. So and that like, brings us up to. Oh, sorry, Rixie. Um, no, it brings up to another thing, my man. Is that if you like Rice's content, but you're not really a RuneScaper, what do you what do you watch YouTube wise? I mean, nowadays I don't watch any RuneScapers, but when I was a hardcore RuneScapers were the only thing I was watching. Nowadays, bro, I'm watching Keemstar. <laughs> of course you're watching uh, hey yeah you know it takes notes right, right? But of course notes. man of course dude i'm hitting up alex jones any of you watch alex jones oh did it, my did god did he get banned i thought yeah, he got banned on his YouTube. website infowars.com yeah the guy that oh, talked about i was gonna say the charming yeah. frog's gay yeah. you know that guy yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah i know you're talking about yeah fucking love those memes yo race can you pop up uh one of those <laughs> <laughs> memes on the podcast for us, dude. Yeah, one Listen second. Some of Alex Jones. Yeah, does is are you watching it because it's entertaining, or you or like you, you you're you're deriving ideas, like your creative process. A lot of it's influenced by that type of content, or I guess I was influenced by Keem, but I I mean it's just I'm a, like a drama kind of person. I love drama. I don't know why. I'm just a drama fiend, I guess. Uh -huh, drama those kind fiend, of channels like interest me. Conspiracies, I love those too. <laughs> yeah, okay. I've been seeing cool. a couple of your conspiracy videos as well. Yeah, I've seen those. I like yeah. the editing on them, to be honest. I'm not going to say they're all there, but the editing's pretty, you know, nice to follow in a way. If you're talking about something scary or daunting, yeah, it'll pop in a musical set in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's kind of nice. Oh. Thanks, dude. So you pretty much made your channel when you started Dicey, right? Yeah. But then you got into drama, and it's because you like drama. It's not because you feel like the aspects of drama are good for a YouTube channel. Um, I made, like, when I used to Dice, I just made a different kind of video one day, basically just going over updates, and I got so much positive feedback. This was, like, two, three years ago. And ever since, I would just, I called it Rune News, and then one day I covered some drama on Twitter and people loved that. And ever since I was just like, okay, this is pretty cool. And it interests me too. Okay. But I, don't, I, I try to stay away from that. So I've got quite a hard hitting question for you then. So like yeah. something that I've always been curious about. So the main focus of your channel is obviously drama. That's what people like to watch from you. Would you say mm -hmm. like, your reason for making those videos are they simply for like for money or is it to try and get like is, is there like an overall good sort of outcome to what you're trying to do or is it literally is it just for money or just to like spot like you know put the uh the spotlight on whatever's going on like what what's your reason behind making these videos to be on to be like completely honest with you i seriously like <laughs> i kind of find it fun to do and also the fact that nobody else does what I do. I get a lot of comments like, I like your channel because no one else is, you know, they say I don't. they don't have the balls to cover drama because it makes your channel look bad. It gives you this bad uh, vibe around you. I just find it fun to be honest. I don't really make money from YouTube. If you look at my views, I'm, <laughs> I'm making no money. It's just fun. It's for fun. Okay. It's, it's to be known it's... as that guy. So it's just because you just like you like drama, basically. Would you would you yeah. put it down to something like that? Okay. Yeah, I love drama. So every video is for fun, yet you're doing bill giveaways at the end. I always wonder. <laughs> I'm watching like <laughs> another Ellie is giving yeah, away. Uh, how is this man affording that much GP to do the giveaways? Like a lot of it is funded. I mean, I pretty much spent all the money I made dicing, but I made a, a couple of bills swapping. And a lot of it is just from when I used to swap, but I've recently quit swapping, so I, I have like no money income in game no more. Oh, dude, no more drop parties. Uh oh, GG YouTube. No. I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I still do give them now and then, but not as much as I used to. Wait, um, so so you said you, like before, you know, before you you actually finished, you said something about you, you don't really do the drama stuff as much anymore. Are you yeah. staying away from that? I mean, so, like. Yeah. 
when I did drama before, I would legit go on Twitter, see some see some dudes fighting, and I'll post it on my channel. I don't do that kind of drama because people got fed up with that. But if something big happens, and even if it does make me look bad, I will upload it like the shit with a friend. Um, I really wanted to talk about that and give some commentary, so I did. But a lot of people, you know, that's going to make me look bad. It just looks like I'm just doing it for views or whatever. So that's kind of the videos I do. Could you go over the friend drama again? Sorry. I, yeah, um... I don't think I watched that one. Oh, okay. I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's... Story let's time. Summary. Story. summary of it. Um, I've been noticed... Basically, I got messaged by some people that a friend was acting up because of some ego. So I looked into it. And it turns out that was the case. She was joining his CC... She was kicking all of his loyal people out of the season. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know that one. <laughs> Basically manipulating him, making him delete people. And then I just started to notice a trend with this guy. This dude's been changing. I'm like, why, why is this dude changing? Is it really because of this girl? And then boom, he hits us with the, um, we, we, you know, you all know about the Dyson thing, the promotion or whatever. Yeah, the staking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm like, man, that has to be because of this girl. Uh, I didn't say anything. I don't think I maybe I did make a video. About, yeah, I did make a video when he did the promotion. But then it comes out that he's having a baby as well. So I'm like, okay, most likely that's because of this girl. So yeah, I thought that was just, a huge meme. You no, know, but... it's just interesting to see people change. I mean, hey, you know, life is basically about making, you know, having children or whatever. I, yeah, I kind of look like a, a nerd getting too much into it, like I'm <laughs> a stalker. But it's funny, not funny. It's fun you know to look at stuff like that yeah to probe into it so like yeah. the people that that you know your your trusted voice that kind of tell you the stuff ahead of time like are you would you say they're they're kind of like your your like um your go-to info people like oh, if no. you hear from them you kind of like all right you know he's probably speaking some some it's legitimacy mostly here just uh random people but i make sure the info is like legit and not bullshit because a lot of people send me bullshit and that's see, it Okay, okay. That I mean, was a hard hitting question right there. It yeah. was. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, touching on the a friend thing, like, I, I think it mostly comes down to greed. Like, especially in the case of a friend, because he lives in a country that is, like, borderline, Impoverished. like. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, borderline third world. So, like, even if he makes, like, a $1,000 a month, which with his views isn't difficult to make, like, he could easily live off that for months. Um,. So I think it just comes down to greed, and it happens to a lot of people. And like, the truth is, like, I've been offered like promotions by the same website and like from ad uh, for advertising private servers and stuff. And I'd be a complete fucking liar to sit here and say that the offers have haven't been tempting because they fucking have. Like the oh, kind yeah. the, the kind of offers mm -hmm. that like make you stay awake at night and you're questioning like yeah. why the fuck <laughs> did I say no? You know. <laughs> but like the bottom line of it, something that I always come back to is we and i'd say all of us because we all make content on runescape we're very fortunate to be able to make some sort of income free playing a video mm -hmm. game that we all have like love towards do you know what i mean that's that's, that's the bottom line like if you decide to sell out it just comes down to fucking greed, greed. and true. some some people just can't help themselves you know it's just one of those things right. yeah and, and and another thing uh in this situation is like you know he's he's moving to the netherlands right with his girlfriend yeah, and that place is not like where he used to live. Yeah. Like, no, you're right. It's more it's expensive worse. for sure. It's yeah. way more expensive. Anything would be more expensive, <laughs> though. So, so honest. I think I, I think like logically, he kind of decided to go bolder with his, you know, with his moves here, like promoting that stuff because he's like, all right, well, I plan to live in Netherlands, and I kind of need a, you know, be able to afford it or something like that, right? I guess. You know, not, you know what makes me sad. Saying, yeah is um is that it worked right if you pop up a friend's channel just look at some of his latest videos and he still gets a ton of views and i feel like his latest uploads not to try to throw him under a bus is him trying to make up for what he's done like he's doing a lot of weird giveaways, giveaways. that no yeah. one wants to watch <laughs> and i don't think it he actually understands that we you know people his fans just want to watch his regular content yeah and yeah. i just gotta say for everybody watching actually not actual kind of creators but kind of creators who don't sell out who actually make it love them okay yes love them all man because there's a Treat lot of people in this respect. community that are still awesome but they have sold out hard and their content has dropped 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I haven't been watching Efren as much because one, he hasn't really been uploading that much, and two, I'm more used to his, you know, older style videos. I mean, like, you know, he's been doing progress stuff for a while, but before all that, you know, he used to do all these type of interesting, creative idea. Stuff. And his latest videos. Like every video would be like it. It didn't really relate to the one before, but it didn't matter because like it, he just covers some interesting topics. Like whether it's like a loot video or something about an update and he's trying something. But he doesn't do much of those anymore. So so it's like, I, I, there's just really not much to watch right now. Yeah, we'll see if he makes a comeback. I just always believe, you know, you can earn your following, but you better keep earning that shit. Yeah, right? Even if you do something wrong. Still I, I think the IRL support. stuff, you know, with yeah. him is like probably too much. Yeah, but, um, to balance right now. <clears throat> I mean, to my boy Oak though, man. Yeah. Just, we're talking about a friend over here while Oak's just chilling. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, so you you sometimes bring up drama around a certain person, and you said you can see the bad side of it. Does that ever keep you from wanting to upload on your channel because it's a drama channel, right? Yeah. They hate. There's been so many people, um, not so many, but at, at least two or three people I could have just exposed the hell out of for doing bad but there's times where i'm like nah this is not worth it like i just don't want to upload this because i'm not mostly it's because i'm not ready for the response because sometimes i've uploaded stuff and the response is just so much i'm just like oh man that was not worth uploading but yeah sometimes there's just stuff i just don't uh i just don't do so you kind of find yourself in that moral situation yeah right now, is it because of the response mainly, or is it because you kind of care for some of these people in the community and you just think, hey, I can make content off it, but I'd rather not do this to somebody at this time? Sometimes it's like, it's because I like the person, but even if, like, like the person or not, I mean, I don't really have any friends in this community, anyone I, I like buddy buddy up with. So, you know, like that's no just because of your, you know, yeah, your, your hobby. Scared yeah. Me. people are scared <laughs> of me like legit content creators. Are, I can tell. I mean, I'm not scary to be honest. My channel is small, but stuff can spiral. But um, I mean, the only thing is the only people that like have to fear you are people that have stuff to hide. Do you know what yeah, I mean? True. So that's like, true. you know, if somebody's innocent and they shouldn't have a problem with talking to you because they know that if you make a video on them, they can just disprove it if they choose to. Do you know what I mean? That's true. Yeah, I never just go after anyone for no reason. Yeah, well, you a know, lot of people yeah. got stuff to hide though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like, yeah. Just, like, <laughs> yeah. Beyond that is, uh, like, I'm, I'm gonna be, you know, fairly, fairly open about it. Is because, um, like, I, I feel like the perception around you, like, a lot of people feel like you're, you're just kind of like, posting the drama stuff for the attention of it to, you know, to generate the views and all that, right? There's no real purpose other than, like, to grow your channel and, and just kind of throw anybody under the bus to get what you want. That, that's what, if, that that's what a lot of people, yeah, that's what, that's what a lot of people, when I, when they, because, like, you know, sometimes, you know, you're, you're a controversial topic, so some people be like, oh, what do you think of Oak Dice or something, right? I'm like, what, what do you mean by I think? <laughs> but it's like, and then, and then, you know, they start like, oh, you know, you know him, like, He's like dirty guy, you know, posting a lot of BS, stuff. stuff like that. So so I think a lot of people are kind of like scared. They're like, man, what if he kind of like does say something about me and warp it, you know, warp what I was trying to say and then like make it into a drama. Like they're, they're kind of yeah, afraid to get into something <clears throat> that they're necessarily not a part of. Because like that's kind of like some of the perception that people feel like. But, you know, I, I feel like after hearing you talk about it, it's it's kind of like, Obviously, you have some moral standards, you know, you, you know, you try to cut some of the BS yourself. But at the end of the day, it's like, how do you, you know, how do you really balance that? Like trying to be like a real j journalist, so to say, and like adding your own personal touch to something and, and kind of like warping whatever it is that you're trying to say to mean something else. That's true. You know, so, but like... Yeah. Yeah, and I, I try to shy away from just posting stuff to post. I mean, in the like maybe a year or two ago, when I just used to post like a lot of random drama, sure. But nowadays, I'm careful with it. Like, I'm not just gonna post something to make someone look bad. If someone is like harming the community, that's normally when uh, I try to make a video about it just to warn hmm. people in a way. Yeah. See, I'm really torn between like if I like <clears throat> your channel or not, and I'll, I'll give you the genuine reason. 
is I hate drama on one hand. I'm not interested in it. Like, when it comes to shows that are drama shows, they bore the fuck out of me, so I just don't care. <laughs> but, like, on the other hand, I feel like there have been a few cases where you've put a spotlight on things that I feel like it benefited the community in a way. Like, yeah. I remember you made a, a series of videos on, I think it was a girl called Poison Ivy or something. Oh, Is that right? yeah, yeah. yeah. That lady that was person. something, huh? Yeah, yeah, and I feel like that was a really good, like, the fact, like, regardless of the information you gave, whether it was, like, accurate or not, like, a lot of it was, and you were shining, like, a spotlight on something that a lot of people could benefit from hearing from. You know, so I, I feel like videos like that are quite good. I, I remember watching those videos and I had no idea about it. You know, I just, I couldn't believe oh, it when I watched good. those videos. Yeah, it yeah. was crazy. Dude. Give us um, give us a little summary on Oak Dice for all those um. Oh, sorry, not Oak Dice, Poison <laughs> Ivy, for for everyone watching here. It happened about a uh, year or two ago. Uh, but what I can remember is that now that's now here's the thing because it kind of gets weird. A lot of people saw her as, as manipulating guys because when you um if you just look up her name you'll just see like she was manipulating guys to do this and that this and that and i thought that she was doing it i thought that she was crazy she was making all these guys do this stuff and then when i got to know her because i joined a skype call uh and she told me a bunch of stuff turns out that it was those guys were trolling her those guys were just standing to her those you know their penis or whatever they i hate whatever, that whatever yeah it was just a troll she wasn't making them do it it was just like it was like a trend and they kept doing it and doing it but the thing with, with her boyfriend though steve i think that might have been manipulation because he was doing some really weird stuff for her so it's just one of those things i don't it, really know is steve like a runescape player uh, uh -huh. no yeah, that's well, minecraft what's the back what's the background because i i remember something about him being like a top uh high score player yeah. or something and he like dude. sold his bank for real world yeah, money dude. right he yeah like, like a ring too. right yeah, I saw that Twitter all this stuff to give to her. So that's why I say there might have been manipulation. Oh, he was just that obsessed with her. Yeah, oh, it's an unhealthy relationship. <laughs> that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Definitely still got... I'll tell you that. You still yeah. got those pictures, man. <laughs> <laughs> I d maybe if I type it in on Google. No, nah, I don't. I don't, I don't think really you want to do. That. That. I, don't yeah. you wanna do that, yeah, I mean, it's so true though. There are so many like vulnerable guys in our community yeah. that you know probably would give anything they have just to get Girl, attention girl. from a woman yeah. yeah so i you know i get it and i'm glad that you made those videos because a lot of people out there would have probably done the fucking same unless they saw the outcome of that video so yeah oh, that's just true. sent their dick yeah, pictures true. that's that's what i'm saying though um <laughs> just a life lesson out to the podcast guys stop sending unsolicited <laughs> dick pics okay because genitalia is 50 50 man if you don't start <laughs> If you just like don't send your dick pic, they're gonna start wanting it, and all of a sudden you're gonna they're gonna be asking for it like we're asking them. <laughs> it's, instead, they just Google the word D and everything pops up. So stop yeah. making it hard for me, okay? All right, thank you. Is that PSA it's, mint? Yeah, it's fucking lonely out there, dude. Because everyone's taking a picture of their dick, dude. I don't, <laughs> stop fucking taking yeah, pictures I, I of your dick. I don't understand it, man. Right? Oak, Oak don't even take pictures of his face, man. Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the only time a dick pic's K, like, if the girl asks for it, then yeah, sure. Yeah, they, of I course. Mean, yeah. Permission, of course. of course. Even if she's family, man, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, even if it's down there in the Bible building. Oh, so, no. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Um, oh no! Don't start drama over that, please. That was me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> racist. So, <laughs> you said you watch Keemstar. I watch Keemstar a lot too. Um, and I actually used to make a couple drama videos, and I got compared to Keemstar. Uh, sadly, yeah. you look like. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Um, and I stopped making them because, to be honest. Uh, I wanted to have vid videos that didn't have any negative side effects; just made people happy. Not that drama can't be something that's good for a community sometimes, but it felt like I was doing more bad than good <clears throat> entertainment-wise. So I stopped that. Now I'm wondering, like Keemstar, he actually fucked up a couple people's lives, like IRL, yeah. all right? Because yeah. he, he did it wrong. He's trying not to, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, do you, you ever feel like... That. Yeah, do you ever feel like you've ever done that, Oak, where you've accidentally attacked the wrong person yeah. and made it harder for somebody? I'm trying to think. Maybe there's been one or two people. Um, you don't have to say names, I guess. Yeah, yeah. No, we don't want to. Uh, 
I'm trying to think. I have yeah, been names super, are nice. Like I've been <laughs> wrong, but like wrong on something so small, and that kind of annoys me. Like I'll make a drama video about someone, and I would like expose them for doing something bad, and then I'll say one thing that's wrong, which is so small, and then people would just get me on that. But in terms of like ruining someone's um, career or something like by accident, I can't really think. So nothing on that scale then. There was there was one with one YouTuber. Um, I said that he was, um, what did I say? That he was getting money from someone to promote them. And it turns out that wasn't the case because he showed chat logs. But still, to this day, I'm still kind of skeptical about that. Because he, he did a video um, basically promoting this gold site, saying the guy's name. He had a segment where he's like, this guy's legit and he is why. And I'm like, bro, come on. You have to have got paid, dude. Like, first of all, you're promoting gold selling. Um, oh, and yeah. then he was promoting someone who was buying, like, training people's accounts. And he was also like, yeah, this guy's legit. Look at all the stuff he's done. Here are some reviews. I'm just like, bro. Oh, that's, that's one of the new YouTubers, right? Is it, like, Crumb or? Yeah, it's Crumb. Yeah. Oh, fucking Crumb, okay. dude. His video ideas are ingenious, but they're also so dumb and ridiculous <laughs> that they'll get views. And it annoys me. Um, <laughs> no hate like, crumb, but you, let's be real, man. Those are some very. Yeah, I thought he was getting out. paid, but it turns out he was just doing it for free. Like, I don't oh know, yeah, cool. he was just his old yeah. pal. Maybe uh, he's pulling a syndicate, <laughs> owns a side or something, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> just know. kidding. I didn't know I was a part of this. <laughs> yeah, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> before docs. Um, <laughs> scary. Now. So everyone knows about the black situation. I feel like if we didn't bring mm -hmm. up the black situation, our viewers would be slightly disappointed, right? Because exactly. that's the most recent yeah. drama. Now yeah, it's been ongoing, about... right? Since Runefest, is that? Yeah. Uh, it... Yeah, been... yeah. It was Since literally Rune Runefest. I think it was the it day was before. Of Runefest, right? it's been on the day. Runefest, yeah, actually. a lot of people didn't know during Runefest. And... Yeah, dude, I had no... me neither. I, I had no know. idea. I actually had a really <laughs> awkward conversation with um Graphis. <laughs> Which, yeah. like, I'll, I'll say this, like, I don't like talking badly against people, let alone yeah. when I've met them in real life, do you know what I mean? So, like... Yeah, yeah like, I've actually definitely. met him twice. <laughs> like, personally, I don't have a problem with him as a person. Obviously, like, with all of this coming out, it's not great. Uh, but, like, when I saw him at RuneFest, I wasn't on my phone on YouTube for, like, the whole two or three days. And um, I didn't realise until after, I think it was you, Oak Dice, uploaded a video, like, exposing him. But uh, yeah. one of the first things I said to him was, I was like, hey, how's it going, man? Like, gave him a hug and stuff. And I was like, why is it all I see on Twitter is you liking all these e-girls pictures? Oh, and he, no. he, he, went, <laughs> he went seriously quiet and kind of avoided the question. <laughs> and I, I had no I was completely oblivious to the fact that, like, there was a video exposing him. So I had no idea about <clears throat> the drama. And then yeah, I thought you watched it. Yeah, he, he probably <laughs> he probably thought I was like, you know, giving him shit Leaving for it you. when I actually had no idea. Yeah, which is the truth of it. And you're just on like pain medication, you know. Yeah, but I look back <laughs> I look back at it and I'm just like, God, he probably thought I was like being a right cunt and just like calling him out on it or something. But I genuinely had no idea until the last day of RuneFest when I watched the video in bed and I was like, Oh yeah, shit. I only learned I only learned about it like when I got back home. Because then, you know, on Twitter it was like Oh shit! You know, like yeah, it was a big shit storm. A lot of stuff going on. I, I would, <clears throat> since a lot of people might not know as well. Oak, feel free to debrief them on that. As long as we're not okay. all gonna go to jail, by the way. I don't... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. See, that's there's the some thing. legal nah, stuff going joking. on. You guys are fine. Nah, you, you can like just talk about what happened. At Rufus. Yeah, he's Please. not gonna sue. Trust me, because I have too much stuff. On we him. got Oak dice <laughs> on our back here. He'll protect God, us. Right? But like, like you guys, I was shocked because, dude, that was my bro. Basically, you know, there's not too many black Runescapers, man. Canoe, dude. I miss Canoe. Oh, man. I'm like, Canoe, man. He deserves it's a dying so much breed, relevancy. Dude. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck, dying breed? Shut your ass up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Underprivileged. <laughs> like, I was just chilling. And then I got information about him. And at first, I was like, nah, you guys, nah, this is BS. Because at first, they'll tell me there's a bunch of allegations against him. I'm like, well, I, I mean, I can't do anything about that. And it's when the recording came in. That's when I started to believe everything, and I'm like, whoa. I mean, I did believe it before the recording, but when I was sent the recording, I was like, dude, this is crazy. Because what's, cra what's crazy isn't the fact that there's a recording of him admitting to doing something with um, one girl or whatever. It's the fact that there's like so many different girls saying this, this, that. 
even when I made the video, a girl on Twitch came out and said, yeah, he was saying this to me. Uh, you guys know, what's his name? Knut or Nuts? Knut? The, Knuts. The you bodybuilder mean, Canoe, guy? Canoe. The guy on the Raj Patel <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Canoe. Oh, yeah. Canoe. yeah, yeah. yeah. Even that guy was calling out black, like, dude, so many girls were coming to me scared because you would be just being too weird. And it was just <laughs> such a trend, dude. And I'm like, wow, yeah, I got to, like, these are the kind of videos that I felt like I need to make, drama or not. Like, people, yeah, you're like, like, I'm you sorry. Said, yeah, yeah, you might be my friend, but I'll be real. Cross everything, the line, you know, he wasn't that my video friend, but yeah, is legit, right? Which <clears throat> I'm not gonna say if it is or isn't. Um, then yeah, that's completely for, for the safety of the RuneScape and just Twitch community. Uh, because remember, I was with Black. I think it was like first. I, I pretty much hung out with that guy every TwitchCon, um, oh, and we shared a Black and Mild in Alfie's car back when Alfie was like maybe like a couple hundred viewers. His car looked like, <laughs> oh my god, it looked like a dumpster of wheels. You know, hate Alfie, <laughs> love you, man, but it was so bad. Well, dude. Alfie, uh, Alfie had a dumpster car. Are you said, oh my god, <laughs> god I love deep. I love Alfie, man. He's <laughs> such oh, a legend, man. dude. It's like a little worse than mine right now, right? I don't know. He he's doing really well, so maybe he has like a couple of those cars now. I'm not. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> One for breakfast, but, lunch, and dinner. No hate, Alfie. I love you, man. <laughs> and we were hanging out, and it's pretty easy to like Graphist in a way. It really is. And then the last TwitchCon, um, when everyone knew that info, I didn't even know he was going to show up, and he did. He showed up to TwitchCon, and. Dude, abyss, and then we're we're beasting it out. And even at the the last party, there was this little uh, safe haven area, just house, just bumping shit, right in the middle of nowhere. And we're all drinking and shit. And Grow Score and um, Black were there in the same kitchen, and I was just Snapchatting this shit. And oh my god, I don't want to air anybody's dirty laundry, but because of that video and because of all the drama around him, it got really heated. We had to leave the party. And we just took oh, like at least ten or fifteen women <laughs> with us, and just fucking <laughs> left to Alfie's like um, hotel. Yeah, here's wow. safety. Wait, was this the most recent TwitchCon? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah that was last TwitchCon. It got heated. And you know what sucks though is because of all of this controversy, man. He made it really hard to be active on women. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it, yeah. It's like you, you couldn't be weird. He right? went too had, much. Yeah, he advanced too much, too fast. And I'm just sitting here, like hands in my pocket, just the friendliest guy, dude. Because I know I'm not, I'm not ended up on Oak Dice's video, dude. I already got the terrorist beard. I don't, you know, <laughs> I gotta be next on that shit. And it just nah, sucks, dude. man. Uh, dude, oh, it's, it's 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 it a makes it harder up. for you, huh? <laughs> oh, dude, so much harder because yeah, basically, everyone's drunk all the time. And you can't yeah, be doing anything. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, it, I don't. It's not defendable, is it? Really, like if it's if, if somebody's nah, admitted really. to it. Because, like, yeah. right, so, like, I talk from personal experiences. Like, if I've ever been told no from a girl, no means fucking no. Yeah. And it's like, it, like, this is how I view it. If a girl says no to me, I'm like, okay, whatever, that's cool. Because why would I want to do something with somebody that clearly isn't attracted to me? Exactly. That doesn't do it for me at all. And, like, I, I guess people could defend it from the case of, like, oh, but you got to bear in mind, like... You know, he streams all the time. He probably lives in his room playing video games. He doesn't get a chance to see girls. But that's not a defense. There's yeah. loads of people like that. I'm like yeah. that. But I don't mm -hmm. do those things. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I don't that's think it's defendable. I, re I really don't. Uh, it's pretty messed up, man. It really yeah. is. Yeah, it, it, it sucks. I mean, can a person change? I, I guess so. But it's like, that's not our problem necessarily, right? It's like, can't really tell the guy to change he has to change so yeah and and, and if people will forgive that's the yeah i mean that's i don't think they will man yeah. um like straight up the, i'm not gonna try to throw any more shade at him but yeah. it, it just breaks my heart to be honest like i got really sad some of the stories i heard because a lot of those girls in the community are super nice and i'm not gonna yeah. throw any names because this situation was more than enough but like I was seriously just super sad. That's that's all I could really word it. I was just I was just distraught when I heard this info yeah, came out. I'm glad I, I heard it I though. I was just surprised, you know. I was just I would, surprised, man. Because I'd I feel even worse trying to be well, chummy yeah. with somebody just, that. Know it too. Yeah, fuck. I mean, <sighs> I I do believe in giving second chances, like, and I do think people can change, like, I don't know. It's one of the. It's not anything that we'll ever be able to like judge. 
Uh, it's gonna take it, some time. Yeah, it's it's, it's, recent. it's just on I, him, dude. Like he obviously needs yeah. to make some like self improvements, and hopefully he takes this time that he's had to like reflect on it and really think. You know, yeah. and I, I I just hope that he hasn't like taken away from it. Oh, this is bad because I was exposed for it. It should be a case of this was bad because this was fucking bad, and actually see the error yeah, of his ways. Yeah, yeah. I might you know? forgive if he goes to jail and then comes back. You no, know no, what no, I mean? But, but here's the thing. Here's the thing about it, though. These people were trying mm. to make him change. The reason why um, some of this stuff came out is because he wasn't changing. Like. A lot of these people, uh, some of them I was talking to, they're like, yeah, we've known about this, but we're giving him a second chance. Like, he has to change. He has to change. The dude didn't change. And then that whatever happened had to be done, dude. So he's he's been given chances. I don't think he can change. I just think maybe that's how he is, man. Yeah. I mean, like, sometimes, you know, it takes a lot for someone to change. So I guess maybe. Do you guys think he deserves to go to jail? Or is oh, that look, I, I, I'd rather think? not answer that because I don't no. really know enough. Because I don't what know he enough. To, I mean, I can't say what he did to the girl on, on recording, but it was it wasn't something because some people were saying like, was it like did he like give her a kiss or like tap her or something? No, no, no. It was disgusting, dude. Like, dude, this was to go to jail. Because yeah, the stories I heard, if any of it's true, which I'm not saying it is or isn't. Uh, oh, I see. You've heard them too, yeah. Oh, that's why I got super sad. Like, I don't even want to talk about the stories on the podcast, obviously. It's just mm-hmm. too, too great. Like, obviously, we got to bring this up because, yeah. you know, it's the latest stuff. But uh, I don't want to delve that deep into it. Just, but I do feel like he needs to serve some some sort of punishment if this can be proven completely true because yeah. that's, if, if he serves his time, though, um, and he comes out and he's, you know, I'm, I'm after that. Yeah, man, it's America. You know what I mean? But until then, dude, you got to, unless you're my best friend or family, you got to earn that shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you, know you get a free yeah. pass on whatever you want. See, it's like, it's difficult, isn't it? Because I, I don't know how your law works out in America, but like here I'll in the touchy U- women. Yeah, yeah, but like here in the UK, it's like, obviously he's admitted to it but there needs to be like concrete proof you know like there has to be like testing done and but then i don't know if that's just negated because someone's admitted it but then again people have been known in history to say that they're guilty of something when they weren't so but if you say you're guilty though you you will yeah it's over yeah you will get punished for whatever they prescribed in america it's over when you're guilty all right uh, (laughs) but i was was about to have the best topic changer and i just lost yeah. it so what was it <laughs> it's gone all right dude. well I'll, I'll say something else <laughs> I, I, i'll go on to like a, a nicer side of black yeah, yeah. So, well, yeah. what do you think so like the first time i met him was um it was not the year just past room fest the year before that is when dead man mansions was happening and um he's a very likable dude in person do you know what i mean like when i met yeah, him yeah, he, yeah. He, he was wearing the ancient mewtwo or mew sorry uh like oh, pokemon t-shirt and stuff Dope. Mm-hmm. and like he wears like kfc leggings and shit and like he's just <laughs> he's a cool guy to talk to like he's, he's a sand guy but i remember we were um we were in the center of london and it was outside of the pre-party for runefest and uh the river i think it's called thames i, I should be able to say the this because i'm from the, yeah i'm from the uk that river yeah. running through london he did the fucking dumbest thing Thing. and i remember telling him off for it because we were stood there it was me alfie in black and he looked down at the river and he was like oh that looks fucking disgusting look at all the rubbish in it Rub- rubbish in it and then literally like two seconds after saying that he took his empty fucking cup and threw it in the river and i just oh my God. I, I remember turning to him and i just looked at him i was like why the fuck did you just do that i was like mate i was like you just oh, said that no. it looked I was like, you just said it looks fucking horrible, and then you con- contributed to it. You just threw your plastic <laughs> cup American in there. Right there. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, it, okay. it was dream, quite funny, dude. It was funny, man. Yes. We, we had a laugh about it afterwards, but yeah. Uh, all right, all right. Um, what I was yeah. gonna ask Oak is any future drama that you wouldn't mind uh, revealing, man. Just a little. You know, <laughs> give us a little that oh, yeah, no. dude. <clears throat> get that. Unless it was like the black situation, I don't like keep it on a list it just normally someone messages me i look over it and if it's legit and if it's like wordy like if it if it would help out the community i'll just make a video on it that day 
But no, no, nothing. Everything is sound now. Like nothing bad's going on at the moment. Dude, that I oh, okay, it's I, all good now. Uh, dude, yeah, inside of good. inside of my <laughs> archive of drama inside of my head, dude, I probably have like a month supply of videos for you. If I was to spill <laughs> the beans, you need to be clan stuff, man. It reaches yeah, you. Yeah, I know there's a lot of stuff that happens. There's, man, there's no. a lot. Of, there's a lot of shit, man. It's lot. just I don't feel like, it's not my place to say it. And to be honest, I don't really give a fuck about drama, so. You know, I don't get involved. I just, I have that stuff loaded and ready to go in case anything ever comes at me from those people. Do you know what I mean? So I, I have something too, and I kind of really want to say it, but I don't. Um, I just know somebody who borrows people's accounts. <laughs> borrows? And, uh, like, Yeah, <clears throat> I'm not going to say the name, all right? And I'm not even going to hint at it, but oh, they'll borrow their account, is. and they'll take all the money on it, and they'll stake it. Okay, and no, if they no, lose, no. they won't replace it. And people just come up like, "Dude, this guy just took all my money." I'm like, "No way!" Wait, is <laughs> this a, is this know, a content it. creator? Is this streamer? Yes. No. Oh, well, I mean, no, like it's a content creator, it's a YouTuber. In the in oh, that case, dude, it's mm, like research, eh? <laughs> the thing is, like, if you're gonna expose somebody for something like that, which is actually gonna have a positive impact, yeah. then why the fuck not? No. Like, you're gonna stop. Well, well, yeah, or you have I'll to be sure. For it. No, you gotta. And I don't have any. I, I just he told me that's it. I, I he did. I have no proof. I can't. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I just feel right, really right. fucking bad yeah. to all these people, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying, man. Wait, I, I wouldn't he... mind giving Oak Dice info later, but uh, there's no proof on it, and I don't want to go just down. Think of who it is. I thought it was a streamer. You I'm not about. saying it, dude. I... <laughs> is it Chunk? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say nothing, dude. I didn't say shit. Wait, is it? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? You can't be guessing names like that, dude, bro. I'm playing. I know he's your real life, mate. I know that he wouldn't do that or you wouldn't be friends with him. I'd assume so, at least. Fucking chunk, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But yeah, okay, okay. dude, disclaimer, don't ever fucking donate to anybody, streamer, YouTuber, don't give them your account, don't lend them your fucking items. Even if it's made my account, account, you know? No, definitely. Dude, you lend me your account, I make you money, baby. Everyone, <laughs> they log on with d claws and shit, dude, what do you mean? A true story. Oh. But yeah, I'm the only guy who does that, so don't lend your account. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't do it, don't do it. They won't make you money. Oh, man. Um... <laughs> Royce, yeah, did you have a question for Oak? Yeah, okay. So this is this more from the content creation side of things. So, you know, obviously uh, the drama stuff, it's been something you've been doing for a while. And let, let's say compared to when you first started it, you know, like fairly seriously, like now, like have you ever kind of like noticed, you know, sometimes the information that, that you, you are given or you give, people it's like oh it could be skeptical but i'm just gonna go with it anyways i'm just gonna say it as it is but like <clears throat> obviously you know you know that's that's not very substantial evidence but like i'm saying in the beginning i feel like maybe you spoke a lot of stuff that may may not like if you look back at it it has not been really too concrete and and have you been trying to steer away from that and like you know be more um factual i guess about your stuff you know, whenever whenever a drama ri rises, like, have you been, like, kind of your your thought process, your fact checking process? Have you gotten better at it? I guess in a sense throughout the years. Yeah, hundred percent. In the beginning, I'm not gonna <clears throat> lie. Like some of the stuff people would tell me, I would just post it without <laughs> it being concrete. But the reason why I changed that. <laughs> I mean, I guess <laughs> not, not for moral good. I only changed it because people kept giving me shit like, yo, okay. Oh, come on, yeah. you can't be yes. saying that, man. Yes, no, yeah, it's Just okay. Expose yourself. Expose. It's okay. But I mean, it wasn't, that, it wasn't, it wouldn't be like someone would tell me, hey, this guy is a serial killer and I'll be out I'll, with a video next day. Yo, you know, it would yeah. be like small stuff that I'll, I'll go off. But because yeah. so many people gave me shit and I'll get so much backlash, it made me. Oh, you can't be saying factual. that shit, man. You I'm, can't yeah. just. Dude, you can't be like, yeah, this I would have kept just uploading random shit, but <laughs> this was like a year, a year or two ago. I'm talking those kind of. Videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now, because well, like, like that's that's why I started hearing more about you. You know, it was when you know the first few years. Oh, okay, yeah, started. that was super bad because I'll go off of anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, because like, oh man, you know, like I was just hearing about random things 
you know, about whenever you make a video about something that, you know, always because people are gossipy as hell. They always ask someone that they somewhat know, like, do you hear about this, hear about that? I'm like, what is I'm all this stuff? I'm guessing you guys have heard about the Mog Time thing, him dying. In real life? Oh, yeah, no, I saw oh, that video. No, yeah. no, oh, that oh, was no. an, that's an example of something bad because oh. he was like, this is an example, right? The oh. dude went Mia for like two, three months. I guess like to the public or whatever and someone told me yo he died and this is two years ago <laughs> two years ago oh my i made God. a video and i was like yo yo guys mog time died <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> that's an oh example of like when i used to be so stupid dude <laughs> I ever nowadays... do not upload on it all right or at least oh have God. some sort of uh at least have my mom on Skype call. You, you know, know top it. ten moments or something, dude. You yeah. know, make it nice, make it classy. Oh my god, fucking Christ, yeah, that, dude. That's I'm, crazy. I'm you changed know. though. Because <laughs> you, you gotta be super factual. People won't take you seriously, and I want to be taken seriously. Yeah, like you want to be like the premier drama guy. You know, not not like some bullshit. Not scuff budget. I want to yeah. be the guy. Do you yeah. have any competition when it comes to drama? By the way, on RuneScape. I don't. Honestly, I, mean, I don't. I guess I don't so it was a little bit of drama. Um, you know, Theoratrix? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, 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 the guy makes guides? guides? Yeah, yeah, the dude that makes all types of guides. Oh, he makes One drama guides? Out of nowhere. <laughs> How um, to start drama? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's not competition, but one time he just made Damn. a series called Rune News, and I was oh, like, right, I was kind of like, news. bro, what, bro, what are you doing? He didn't. I was gonna he, ask that because he, I thought he actually made that to be honest. From no, it came was out. me. The Rune News was me. He got and so much was, love on it for Jack and that idea. Dude. Yeah, he got was, loads yeah. of love, dude. He, he, he got did. Some like, Time for a YouTube bout. You know, let's hit up the boxing ring like KSI, <laughs> Oak Dice versus Theo. <laughs> Atrix, yeah. Atrix, sorry. I can so hard we me. hash it out in the DMs. I totally can we, uh, overall. I hashed out the DMs. I will personally fund that fucking shit, man. I'll put a hundred on there. If we Same. Can stream it. <laughs> I'll put a hundo, maybe Last two. Well. Might be trending on YouTube, you know? <laughs> no, one, no one else does drama in the community. Not, not yeah. Like, nah, everybody's too afraid. Now. Everybody's too afraid. I'm afraid. Not like, not the type of drama you guys are talking about, but more about like game integrity drama. Because, like, some people count that as drama, you know. I'm a, yeah, I like, yeah. I'll talk about that a lot, but I know a lot of people don't like it at all. Yeah, they, a lot of people don't like it, that's true. Right. Yeah. A lot of people, like okay. Rexy, they just say drama. Yeah, so I got quite a hard hitting question here. Um, so I'll give you my, my personal takeaway from like channels like Keemstar with uh, Drama Alert and stuff, right? So I, there was a time where I watched a lot of his videos. Um, like I said, I'm not into drama. They were just very easy to watch. And I mm -hmm. feel like, you know, you start listening about shit, like a YouTuber you don't even know about. And it's like, why do I care about this? And you click off. But, um, one of the biggest reasons I stopped watching like drama videos from, from drama alert was because it, a lot of shit came out and basically exposed Keemstar for being a fucking scumbag. And he was just like a piece of trash. Like he genuinely is like a horrible person. Like you watched that leafy video or something? something um it wasn't a leafy video like leafy just same kind of deal i can't remember yeah. what channel it was but a load of videos came out with like, the old guy when he was wrong the peter yeah Fox. glory Our he's glory. done some well yeah. i mean that he's was some wrong that, that's just an example of it but there was loads of stuff like More like right, him yeah. being recorded on like xbox calling kids the m-word and stuff like that oh. like just oh, uh, huh. re really yeah. like stupid stuff and that's like part yeah. of the reason i don't support those channels is because i personally see the people who are running those channels like how do they have the nerve to be able to speak shit on somebody else when they have when so much shit which is in the <laughs> in the cupboard like skeletons in the cupboard so like my question to you oak dice is like and this is like really fucking vague but would you consider yourself like a good fucking person or like <laughs> you know are you a good person like be honest about it because you know it's best just to be honest just own whatever you are yeah. how, how would you consider yourself I mean, th I guess this is biased, but I don't consider myself a bad person. Like, I seriously do not sit there and make a video like, oh, I can't wait to bring hate on this guy. Nowadays, it's like, I do stuff for, for try, I, I, and I try to do it for good reason. But as far as me being like a scumbag, no. I okay. don't do like trashy stuff or bad stuff to people. Okay, that's that's fair enough. Uh, yeah, my you can look that up. 
My next question would be like the people that you're calling out for doing certain things, whether it's like real world trading or you know whatever. Yeah. Um, are you guilty of any of the things that you've ever called people out on? Let me think. Because <clears throat> I'll also add to this. I remember. Um... I think, were you flexing on, what was it, Sun and Old School or something? And you popped open your PayPal, which had 90 grand in it? Was that Sun on Old School? Yeah, I think you were uh, flexing on him, right? Or it was somebody, and then you, uh, on your video, you popped open your PayPal, and you had a, a, a substantial amount in there. Yeah, I remember so, that. You know, and I'm, I'm wondering, it connects to Rakesy's question, have you ever done anything... <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, dude, it, it, like uh, everybody's done sketchy stuff. Like, I'm specifically like real world trading. You were a dicer. You had a swapping clan. Those yeah. things, in my mind, equal way too much money than you ever need in game. Therefore, how do I get rid of this money? So, you know, the option is basically sell it, give it away, or just use it to get ninety nines and shit. So, like, have you ever RWT, for example? RWT, no, and a lot like. I know it's hard to believe, but if you just look at, okay, the best way I can prove this, I guess, is if you look at my main her, because a lot of people say, like, with the money you swap or whatever, you sell it, you sell it, or the people, the clan that I work with sell the gold, they will say that, you know, it's a RWT ring or whatever. To be quite honest, Jagex is always on top of people selling gold. If I was, like, this huge gold seller, if I was selling gold, I would be banned, permed from the game. So, no, I don't sell gold. Okay, so to answer the question, ha have you ever been guilty of what you're accusing somebody of doing in any of your videos? See, that's what I'm trying to think. Um, I've called Bug out for taking uh, money from a peace server, like yeah. Shady. I haven't done anything like that. Ever. Wait, Bug's done that? Mr. Bug? Oh, that's yeah. That's a Video. that's an old old one yeah he did it eight, like probably a year and a half ago or something i remember it was like what big bicep and somebody did took like five grand for server. Two. yeah that yeah. that was yeah boom epic yeah. Man. they tried to get me on on that as well i i was told oh, i'd get paid I five grand for it you. damn oh God, yeah, I wish it was like some on. sort of good in the world where it's like if you reject an offer like that, like you get laid, you know, or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I, well, I've been dude, rejecting offers hey, and I don't get shit. Mate, there is, there is fucking good in it. Like, not being funny, but look at their channels now, opposed to mine. Like, yeah, I'm not getting oh, the views. I'm not getting okay, the views no. I used to get, but I mean, my channel's still very much alive in comparison. Yeah. To hate, but Boom Epic kills videos are just him borrowing an account, going to Edgeville, and then putting a clickbait title. Like, nothing against that, but like it gets old after a while. And then I don't know I about Big Bicep. So. Because the community supported, a lo supported him so much, and he does that. That's why I was kind of upset with what he was doing. Community is... You know, they're beautiful in a way, but um, they're really forgiving to content creators. And I mean, yeah. it makes sense. You watch, you spend a lot of time watching their videos. Yeah. You know, it, and then inherently, you're kind of like close. You feel somewhat close. That's a true. Type of close, know. but yeah. I guess it just means more to me than it does to some people. And I don't know. Yeah. I, mean, I watch certain content creators i'm like they're killing it they deserve this shit and then i watch others i'm like what is that thumbnail what is this content yeah i mean it Jesus all it all Christ, comes man. down to like what your like what your focus is in life do you know like that's how i see it, it goes fucking deep for me because like oh boy I, I, put it this way I, <laughs> it, even it like say tomorrow youtube were just like we're scrapping monetization nobody's getting paid anymore i'd still upload videos granted they oh, wouldn't same. be they wouldn't yeah, be 10 too. minutes long Fine. Because I love, it. I've made videos since like fucking back in like 2000 and probably 2008 and stuff. A lot of them have like gone now, but I've always enjoyed it. It's just been a hobby of mine. And I get like a genuine feel of satisfaction when I produce a video, edit a video, upload it, and people enjoy it, regardless of whether there's like money tied onto the end of it or not. Um, I think it just comes down to what people prioritize. Like, there's a lot of people that focus purely on fucking money, they're blinded by money. And that's like the all and end all of everything. Like that's yeah. what they want is an outcome. You tell by their content too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like as far as like Boom Epic Kill, like we used to be mates back in the day because we we started at the same time making YouTube videos, and we both were about three thousand subs. I think he had six thousand. I had three thousand. And like back in those days, it was a case of like you find somebody that's a similar size channel, you make collaborations. Like me, Sears, and Boom Epic Kill used to make collabs, and like you know, it started off, it was all good. We were friends. We all just wanted to make videos and like have a good time doing it. Um, 
and like I, I'm, I'm completely disconnected from Boom Epic Kill now. I've got nothing to do with him, and the sole reason for that is was the first Runefest I ever went to. Uh, the first guy that recognized me and came up to me, he he came up to me and bless his heart, man. He he was shaking when he came up to me. Nicest guy ever. He's a moderator in my Twitch chat now. But like he came up to me and he's like, man, he's like, I love your videos, you know, but I don't really know what to think because you're like associated with Big Bicep and Boom Epic Kill. And they, like, do private server videos. And I was like, shit. I was, like, really thinking about yeah. it. And, like, at that point, I, I kind of stopped talking to him anyways. But I remember speaking to, like, Kevin Frames. And I was just like, yeah. I was like, dude, I don't know what to do. Because I, I feel fucking terrible that people even think that of me. Because by association, they assume that I have something to do with it as well. And yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, I don't want to cause any drama between me and me and this guy. Like, how the fuck do I just cut this off? And he was just like, he's just like cut ties. He was just like remove him from everything, have <clears> nothing <throat> to do with him, and just move on. And that that's pretty much exactly what I fucking did. But like having somebody in the real world come up to you and like actually share those thoughts with you is like, it, it really changes your mindset, man. Because I didn't really think anything of it. Until that guy came up to me and I was like, damn, I was like, I need to do something about this. Right. So that means I got to cancel my next vid then. It's no go. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a collab with Big Boy set by chance? All three of them. And we're just promoting all sorts of stuff on there. It's great. Yeah. CSGO gambling sites. It's great. Um, <laughs> I love, I love, we're throwing secret shade here on this fucking podcast. Yeah, no, there's, there's a lot of grime here, man. But that's, <laughs> we knew that was going to happen, though. But, yeah. Sorry, Oak Dice, we're hitting too hard. We just don't want people disappointed coming in. You know, we invite Oak I mean, Dice hey, look, you, you know, cool. like, I appreciate, I appreciate your, your responses to some of these questions. Because it's like, you know, like, a lot of this could kind of, like, if, if taken out of context, you know, really uh, oh, be yeah. bad for you or yeah. for any of us, I guess. But yeah, no, nah, I think I think our responses were neutral, I guess. No, yeah, I mean, not. <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like more neutral than most, you know, than most dirt that that comes out of people's mouths. So well, Oak guys, um, actually isn't you know 100 percent all uh, drama and stuff. And he, he's promoted people's channels before, which I kind of like. That do you still promote channels that you find? Uh, from time to time, yeah. Because I wish more people did that, because it's really hard to get a start in the community, yeah, and especially is. half of them promoting fucking servers and shit. <laughs> so when you got those smaller kind of channels that make relatively decent content, it's nice to see, maybe a, it's a drama channel, but he's still promoting people who uh, make different works, and I kind of like that a lot. Yeah, no, I mean, like, honestly, I'm kind of glad that that you kind of shifted away from, like, mass drama to more, like, critiques, you know, and... And, and kind of like you know more important things right yeah because uh, like because like it's it's one of those things it's it's kind of funny because drama or, or honestly a, like a debate or an argument it 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 isn't necessarily bad all the time because like sometimes things need to be said right like you know if it's like bad or whatever right yeah so so like you can get a lot out of that you know like like you said you know you want to talk about something if it's bad like and it's and it's concrete yeah, yeah when it's needed to be said because like some people appreciate that and you know nothing nothing too bad comes out of that because you're, you're you're like allowing people to know what's going on that's you know plaguing a certain aspect of our community it's plaguing. like that. it's a little yeah. dark it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah i mean there. you know just, just some the source words out there but like yeah it it can be good for sure like a lot i think a lot of people just Kind of whenever they hear a drama <laughs> argument, it's like, oh no, automatically bad. This guy's got nothing good for him going on. You know, he's like, yeah. oh, he's just causing trouble. That's what it feels Actually, like a lot of times. A lot of people just they're so uncomfortable with it. They you know? just assume, yeah, that it could be always bad. Well, but like, it could be bad and and be good for the community, right? Like, because you're letting them know what's bad. But some people don't even want to hear any of it, and that that in itself is not that healthy either. Sometimes you can't you can't just have a perfect world where you know you just avoid all the bad stuff all the time, right? So yeah. Well, it's funny that he can actually build a drama channel based on RuneScape only. Like, how? What did that say about our game? You know? I mean, the community. <laughs> there, this, what does that say about? It's a very vibrant community. You know, there's huge community on Twitter. 
on Twitch, yeah. Reddit, obviously, you know, like and they're YouTube. all dramatic fuckers, dude. How do you updates? How do you feel about Reddit? <laughs> oh, I I I love Reddit. Oh yeah, do re do redditors hate you? <laughs> yeah, they hate me. They hate my guts. dude. They fucking hate yeah. me too. <laughs> no, what, have hate me, dude. what have I done, dude? So funny, dude. They this they the hate day, me, dude. Oh, oh my god. god, there was a post about me. Oak dice RWT. It had like what one or two k upvotes, and it's like, <laughs> this was recently too. And then it's someone, someone was adding mod Swain. It had like four hundred upvotes, and I still didn't get banned. Like, dude, I don't know why people just think I sell GoPro. I mean, I can see why they think so. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, like it's just like, it's, it's the association with loads of money, man. Like that's just yeah. you know people are just gonna assume that stuff. But yeah, you know if you say that you've never RWT, like I've got no reason not to believe you. You've not been banned, so clearly you're doing something right, you know. So that's, uh, yeah, that's fair well, I mean, like you know, it's like I got no proof to disprove what you say. So you know, we'll just leave it as it is. But yeah. what's this thing? Yeah, dude, oh my god, dude, I, like. Reddit hates on certain people. Crazy. Yeah, they do. Certain, what, it likes you guys or what? No, no, they hate me. I wouldn't say they hate me. I wouldn't say they hate me, but like the people that are vocal and they tend to be the ones that comment on Reddit, they hate me. Why? What Those people they, hate what? everybody What's bad about commenting you? on Reddit. Yeah, what, no, it's, what it, I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's just yeah, like, it's, yeah. it's just like uh, uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes, right? Like, let's say, okay, like, last two weeks ago i maxed right and mm -hmm. and for some reason somebody posted that i maxed on reddit and and i didn't know i didn't know but somebody told you know what i mean somebody told me and like apparently in that thread you know it was basically everybody in the comments just talking about like oh my god rice cup that guy's so arrogant like he <laughs> says nut sacks oh so immature <laughs> and like i can't stand to watch him because like on youtube he's like a nice guy but like on twitch he's like so arrogant i'm like Oh, Wait what? Dude. Like how this? Like, you, what, you what, can't, what just weird you can't. You can't please everybody, man. I, I know. I so, so I'm like, well, I mean, I guess if I disagree with your opinion on Twitch, then you know if that makes me arrogant. Then <laughs> I'm arrogant. That's so such a yeah. stupid. Like I wouldn't even. Like, yeah. The thing is, I don't worry about people like that because it's yeah. so boxed off thinking. I'm just like, I don't give yeah, a shit no. what you think. Yeah, no. Like I don't personally think about it too much. It's just like you know, people would tell me they'd be like, oh look, on the Reddit post. They're talking about you. I'm like, oh, is it because I'm arrogant or or I say nuts eggs or something? You know, like <laughs> well, something that, stupid like that. Yeah. It's like a common trend, right? I don't really look yeah. on Reddit much, but from what I can gather is that they're very supportive of new content creators. So if you're a new content <laughs> creator, you can post your stuff there and you're going to be loved. They can effectively make you. Whereas if you're already made and you have like a substantial amount of a following and somebody posts your video, you're instantly going to get shit. And like to me, that just comes across as like yeah. It, it, I think it's inevitable. It, it's it, just funny. Yeah. It's is, just... is it a case of they genuinely dislike your content or you, or is it they a don't case like anyone of, who's made it? Apparently. Yeah, they they just don't like people that have had like some form of success. You know, it could be one of the two. Who knows? Yeah. Right. No, I I feel like I feel like it's not a me thing. I'm just like you know saying it as it is, because. Yeah, dude. Like, I'm I, just trying. I feel like you guys probably get something like that. Similar. Man, I get comments all the time on my videos saying, "Can you can you stop swearing? I've got kids <laughs> in the background listening." And I feel like I feel like taking their comments at the start of my video, putting it on the screen, Fuck and just them. going, "Fuck your kids," and just shouting <laughs> it as loud as I can. I wouldn't, you know, put it that way, but oh um, <laughs> that would be so funny. Dude. It's true though. <laughs> man. Take that I don't, oh my god! I don't give a shit if you don't like my yeah. fucking swearing. If you don't like it, yeah. don't watch my videos. I ain't making. Yeah. I used to them. put. I used to edit oofs in front of my shit, which took a while. I didn't want video, yeah. and they fucking hated that. Oh my yeah, god! No, no. Instead of a cuss word, it would just be oof. I'm like, PewDiePie did it. Why can't I fucking do it? No, yeah. apparently not. It, you know, PewDiePie fun. can get away with anything, man. Oh, oh yeah. He can get away with anything. with just his butt cheeks on the right. camera. It'd be fine. Yeah. What, what sucks, though, is I really like Reddit. Like, they have a very spicy memes. Not all yeah, of Reddit. I still go like Reddit every day, you know? Right? And it breaks just my heart that the they don't like me back. <laughs> Like, come on, Reddit. <laughs> I try to give you guys clan tanks and edits and shit, and you guys hate on me, dude. Fuck, dude, man. Just... You're never going to have everybody like you. I remember hearing this really... Yeah. Um, I can't about Reddit to like me. I, I can't remember who said it. It was probably like a famous quote, but it was like, would you rather be loved by everybody... No, sorry. Would you rather be liked by everybody and be a fake version of yourself or be your real self and be loved by few and hated by many? And if it were me and I had the option, I'd rather be loved by few and hated by many because at least oh, people yeah, that no, love you true. fucking Definitely. love you. I'd rather nah, not nah, just nah. be 
passive and have people just like me because oh this guy's all right like he doesn't really rock the boat too much do you know yeah, what i mean nah, like and honestly like it, it sounds weird and shit like but honestly fuck being fake yeah you know? like at, at the end of the day i mean like because some you know sometimes mo- i think feel i feel like most people that are genuine to themselves they're you know they're they're generally fairly good people anyways but but like definitely like don't try to be someone that you're definitely not right like yeah. that yeah. stereotype advice, don't fit into baby. that stereotype man <laughs> Honestly. I feel like we're talking to like preteens. Yeah, preteens. <laughs> be yourself. I mean, hey, man, there, <laughs> there's a teens, you know. Yeah, I it's mean, tr- true colors always walk. come through, anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. like, the thing is, it like you can tell when somebody's being fake, or at least most people can. I feel like I'm a good judge. Of, I mean, they'll like, break down at some characters. point. You know? Exactly. People will break down at some point. It, it always, it always like, shines through, and like, I think the bottom line is, regardless of whether you're fucking toxic, you know, you're really horrible, or like you're really nice. It's better just to be yourself because, you know, instead of just faking it and being like this neutral bullshit in the middle, like, would you not rather just have like a portion of people that love you for being you instead of you being something fake and then like people just, just liking you? Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, you can change, you know, like, people change. Bunch of shitty stuff, people. But, yeah. They love me. Yeah. Oh, man. Definitely. By I'm, the way, I'll be right back, boys. You okay, guys okay. continue the conversation. I got to use the bathroom. I, I was just going <laughs> to say, man, I thought you've been playing RuneScape this whole time. 100%. Like, I thought that was your actual character. What rice or oak? No, yeah, whatever's on the screen right there. I thought someone was sniffing oh. the whole time. <laughs> yeah, the whole time. I'm like, this guy's not doing a lot of work here, and then I <laughs> finally realized that's just a picture. <laughs> Did you, you really think my desk looks like this, dude? I thought you just. I thought What's it was that? a really funny edit, and you Look just slapped your client on there to get some there. gains, dude. Look at the oh Xbox 360 over there. Dude. Also, <laughs> Why? Dude, they got McDonald's, mate. You think we have it's the luxury of that PC. where I'm from? We don't have none of this shit, dude. What's <laughs> dude, this? You... Is this called Wait, Kool- live? Is it called Kool-Aid or something? Is that the drink? It's um, Powerade, man. Powerade. Powerade. Uh, I, I, ba- I live in the UK, but I live, like, out in the country. So, like, oh. the only place around here that delivers is, like, Domino's. The closest fast food place is about 15 miles drive. Which is oh like ain't worth it, man. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Right, I got a soft question for you, Oak. What's your obsession oh, with anime? And what are your top five animes? Oh, Ooh, you write them down. I like anime too. Talking about, dude. There we uh, go. Getting um, into it. My obsession, I mean, I didn't like anime at all until I started watching Tokyo Ghoul. And from from that point it on, took you that long. Huh? Recently started watching that actually, yeah. Yeah, it that that's so a pretty new I thought you were the old stuff. Oh yeah. no, I'm in the old stuff. Like I'm talking, I watched Tokyo Go like I think two years ago. But yeah, I mean that is kind of recent to be honest. Yeah, it yeah. is really recent. So what? What are your top, top five? five. Uh, number one, gotta be Re Zero. Okay, I haven't okay. seen that. Oh, that's yeah. super good. You gotta see that. Dude. It's decent. It's decent. It's all right. It's <clears> amazing. It's all right. Number two, <laughs> Tokyo Go. <Ghoul. laughs> number three, uh. I guess Future Diary. Oh, there we go. Have you seen that one, Rixie? No, I've not seen it. Oh, I, it's I, it's pretty cool. good. I, I've only that's recently, a spicy boy. I've only recently gotten into anime, so like my selection is quite limited. But right, number four, I would just say uh, Junie Tyson. I guess. Yeah, let me Google that. I don't know what the hell that is. Junie Tyson. Yeah, I think I'll type it for you. I think it's like something spelled like that. And a number like I've seen so many. I'm trying to think of good ones. Number five, I would say. Uh, Ka- oh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'll just a lot of nipples in this one. <laughs> Wait, are you looking at the right one, dude? I see a lot of boobs, dude. Category. Okay. Uh, I think I've seen this one too. So I, <clears throat> have any names. I, I am like, all right. I only have I have a really small selection of animes that I really like. So my absolute fucking favorite that I'm so addicted to, like I'm subscribed to all these anime channels that are specifically for this anime, <laughs> oh. is uh, Attack on Titan. Have you seen that? Oh, okay, that's yeah. a good one. That right, is a classic. I, I fucking love that shit. Like it's it, it's phenomenal the way that it's done. It's it's absolutely brilliant. It's an amazing anime. Yeah. Like I, I I can't even wait for the next episode. Like I I just end up watching like. On the manga, I think they're on like a hundred, whereas actually on the anime, they're like on like thirty or forty. Like I know what yeah. happens in like five series time. Like it's but fan it's fucking fantastic. Like animated, it's but it's better. Yeah. Um. 
Next one, I'd say I really, really enjoyed One Punch Man. If you guys have seen that, Ooh, I didn't oh, like yeah. One Punch Man. Oh, yeah. You say you didn't like it, or you did? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like it. Okay, Mod Archie fucking loves it. So don't you dare talk about that. <laughs> all right? That man had a fucking uh, One Punch Man avatar on Twitter for oh, who knows how long. I didn't even notice that. Damn. Um, yeah. And recently, we over that. recently, because usually what it is is uh, I go to my mate's house every weekend. We land at my friend's house, and we just we have a smoke and we watch anime. That's pretty much what we do. And oh, um, man, that's chill. Yeah, we play like League of Legends, not really RuneScape because he doesn't play it, so it's usually just League, Anime, and whatever series we're watching. We started watching one called uh, Goblin Slayer. Have you guys seen oh, that? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, that, that's <laughs> fucking great. But I do Goblin have... Goblin Slayer. There, there's so many animes that are like, like Sword Art Online and Goblin Slayer, for example. Like, that's why I like, I, I like Attack on Titan because it's just straight fucking action. Skip out all the bullshit. There's no like oh, that romantic uh, fucking anime girl with love hearts in her head and stuff. I'm not a massive fan <laughs> of that. I, li I like good storylines, which is like, you know, when, when it's properly done. That's what I like. Um, but I find yep. like there's quite a few animes like Sword Art Online, Goblin Slayer, where there's like there's a fucking rapey vibe and i don't know if that's Dude. just like a japanese culture that's thing just, that's culture that's the culture that's the culture because yep. it's yep. like some of it's really like oh my god this is like borderline fucking like it's barely it's acceptable so weird but it's just it's so acceptable yo is this the anime hour bro yeah, yeah we were yeah. we got <laughs> oh, our top five go. by the way i linked my anime list down below. it's pretty old but uh feel free to uh, open let, let me roast this Real quick. Hey, go for it, dude. <laughs> I haven't Hunter, updated oh, it in number five one. years. Yeah. There we go. Hunter Hunter. Angel yeah, Beats. I like that. Up. Get it. Clant, dude. Nice list, dude. Koji. I'm telling oh. you, bro. Oh, Dead Man is good. Oh. There we go. We got oh, high school great t shirt on Yeah, what, get, get rid of Have this. You ever like, seen High School of the Dead? <laughs> get rid You're of this. You're talking man. titty jiggles, all right? Oh, I don't want to. Uh, dude, come on, man. Real titty porn. jiggles everywhere, bro. Watch it out. School I don't know if Rakes you like it because it's got, uh, you said you don't like that love, love shit in there. A lot of love yeah, love it's got that love, love shit. Bro. No, yeah, I don't watch, watch it, bro. School, it's dude. corny, dude. Rakes you watch School Days, dude. Watch School Days. Dude, that's. It's like, that's why I like Attack on Titan because there's none of that bullshit, man. It's just straight, like. Awesome no, storyline. I love it. You want some, you wait, you like watching serious anime? Yeah, yeah. Like with a, it needs to have a good fucking storyline. If there's like no lore Pico, to dude. it, really good one. <laughs> if there's Can lore behind it, I love it, man. Dude, Yo, no. Uh, no, I got you. storyline. Okay. Oh my Honestly, god. Write this down somewhere, bro. If you it's a little watch, weird though. If you ever watch like Psychopaths. No, I've not like, seen like, it. Like that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like that one. Like, Dude, anything which is kind of like Attack on Titan, I'll fucking like it. Oh, like uh, like actiony like Attack on Titan or like, like really serious. For, for like, me, for me, the most important thing is is it plot. needs to have a really good plot, a crazy storyline, good action. You love that one. None of that bullshit. That none of the ro oh, romantic yeah, yeah. shit. And Fortress? if there's like a like if there's a lore to it. And there's like loads of shit that's crazy happening thousands of years ago that kind of explain what's Naruto. happening. I love it. I love it. Oh, <laughs> dude, Rakes would be such a Naruto fanboy. I know. You, you, you're basically yeah. describing Naruto. <laughs> dude, that's I've never heard of him. One day. Have, have you ever thought about Naruto? I've never heard oh, of it. Shit. I've never heard of it. No. Dude, it's in a way you'll be watching those sad AMVs no. and shit. It, 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 like, <laughs> weird to catch up, dude. I see loads That's of like I see anime memes. Is he like? Is he got like blonde hair? Oh my god! Come on, bro. You gotta know about Naruto. I've never heard of Naruto. Oh, he, wear, he wears. Know what Pikachu is. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I'm seeing the picture. No, <laughs> I've never breathing. seen it. I've never oh. seen it before. Honestly, you, you, you haven't you watched like, like a, a well-edited AMV like. of Naruto where you got that gang music Yo, on hey, and hey, shit. Hey, hey, hey. The thing okay. to, dude, the thing to remember is, like, I'm 25 years old, man. Like, I, I like Attack on Titan because it's not so, like, childish anime. Like, it's illustration. It's not. No, know? Naruto is not childish. Like, okay. It's it's pretty sad, dude. Like, oh, man. Pretty sad. It's not, like, the most violent show you ever see, but... Yo, Oak, did you just link, like, another version of Attack on Titan? What the fuck? Basically the train version. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I watched that. It was, right, the that action was actually thing. really good. I like the oh, art. Yeah. The ending maybe was some anime, dude. I need, I need something to watch. I might watch it. Yeah. Juni Tensei, maybe. I, I might have. You'd seen like Juni Tensei. You'd like I that. I think I've seen it though. Yeah. No. Some, 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 uh, some of the recent stuff I watched. I'm about to finish Banana Fish, but oh my god, that that anime is so good.
so sad. You, you, guys, you guys, you're gonna have to like hook me up with some because I'm stuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Go check out Dead Man Wonderland, dude. It's got everything you want in there. Man, man, Banana Naruto. Fish, it just finished 25 episodes. Every episode is like watching a movie. It's it's insanely good. Damn. Insanely uh, good. It's any super jiggles? serious. Any jiggles? No, no. It's, it's like super realistic. It's uh, about uh, mafias and like triads in like New York mainly. Yeah, and, and like how there's like a con con uh, some conglomerate. Uh, no, it's like uh, it's like a collusion with the U.S. Wow. government. They're they're like making some crazy Ooh. drugs in collaboration, and they're like using it to sabotage different countries and shit. And like there, there's like a thing going on over there. Yeah, it's crazy. It's it's crazy. Yeah. No, I'm definitely becoming. I wouldn't say a weeb. I don't know what weeb nah, is. Nah, you're a connoisseur kind of like... of good shows, man. That's, that's what you are. <laughs> yeah. So we're, I like I'm using that. Yeah. Dude, Signerd called me a weeb. <laughs> I mean, whatever, man. You know, like, oh, I, if people call ago. me a weep, I don't even care, dude. Because I'm I like, care yo. because that shapes my goddamn avatar. To okay, that sounds gay, but <laughs> like, they were just, hey, you know, mimic cab. Like, isn't that the weep guy? And I'm sitting there watching it <laughs> the first time, like, bruh, you can't be doing this to out, me, man. man. Come first on, impression's dude. over, man. It's over. Call me the guy you tanks or something. Yeah, I'll call me the weep boy. That's dude. great. Dude, animes uh, are fucking fantastic, man. Yeah, no, there's a really... Like, there's a lot of shit anime, and there's a lot... Yeah. There's, a, uh, there's a few really good ones, though. Yeah. Like, like, like with Attack on Titan, like... Uh, I, I feel like if they did it as, like, a real-life thing, like, it was real-life people... Have. They I, don't. We okay. Don't. I, I don't, Unless it's you know, production, it's you bad. don't. Yeah. I, I don't it's think it would bad. be good because of, like, never, the I'm fantasy bad. side of it with the Titans and shit. I just don't think they'd be yeah. able to nail it. And, like, yeah. if it was one movie, it would be way too big to be one movie. No, it, it, it like, needs to be, like, a trilogy -ish. It's like, it Come reminds on. me, so, I read this, uh, book by this author called Brandon Sanderson, right? He does these, uh, books called, it's called The Stormlight Archive. This is the third book, I believe. And these books are fucking amazing. There's never been a film written on it. There's never been an anime or anything like this. But I can guarantee you, if they did this as an anime... This would be fucking, like, unreal. But if they made it into a movie, it would suck so much dick. Or if they made yeah, it into, like, a Disney, it would they suck. They got too much stuff. Is yeah. it a gay book? Or no, Racy. Death movie. Note. Holy shit. Oh, Death Note will Death make you Note. jizz. Oh, I'm dude. like, seriously, you will jizz. Yeah. You're Watch gonna be a show. Death Note fan, boy. He's gonna have his like, little notebook oh, on the oh next my God. You Death got Note is <laughs> insane. You, wait, hold up. I watched it dubbed. Do you guys watch subs? I only watch oh dub. Oh, I mean, you can watch a so, dub. I mean, dub. Oh well, my god! I only yeah, watch dub. Oh, oh, dude, so get him started. Dude, I'm always so busy. I ain't got time to sit there and read everything. <laughs> right. Like, I want it to be fucking spoon fed to my <laughs> ass, dude. So okay, bad, okay, dude. yeah, Naruto's no, definitely dub, bro. No, the reason why dumb. you don't want to watch sub is because in ja Japan, anime is so huge that they have like hundreds of thousands of people voice act, and they only select from the top few. Well, in America. Yeah. It's like, can you talk? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Get the fuck. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Exactly. Dude. I was watching the dub, good. dude. Right. Dumb. Yeah. Dumb. It, dumb it starts fun. out where they're in a fire, and it's a dub, and this guy, he's like a fireman. He's like, fire in here, and I just closed the fuck. Up. Like, this is someone shouldn't have paid this man. It's, <laughs> oh my god. I've never been back. It's oh yo, actually, I'm gonna have to give you the mainstream ones because honestly, some of the mainstream ones are just so good. Like they deserve to be mainstream because they're that oh, good. Full oh, oh, hit yeah, me up with hit me up with like a sneaky anime, dude. All right, I need. I literally, I think I've seen this one. I need something sneaky, something uh, I haven't watched. I what you? You know, have you ever watched Monster? Monster, it's like an yeah, action no, crime thriller. Maybe the show. You see, Rice is over in this whole other fucking playing field. The triads and shit, <laughs> monsters. Like, yeah, dude. No yo, jiggles at all. You, are you watching good stuff, bro? Level? Yo, no edgy shit, man. I, you know what I mean? Watch like, this. there's, there's Pornhub nowadays. You don't need of that. Of course I've seen that, Oak. Come oh, on, okay. bro. Oh, I love okay. it. I, I read the <laughs> manga. I, I good prefer jiggles, the manga. Good jiggles, yeah. But I remember my friend, like, Thomas, he comes over and he's like, you gotta see this show. And he's watched it like 12 times. And I can't remember what it is, but literally it's just like hot women fall from the sky. And they have, like, and there's just this dude. And there's so <laughs> many titties in it. Like, Thomas, just, just jack off, dude. Just... <laughs> Don't watch this 12 times in a row. You can watch Seinfeld or something. You just touch yourself, man. It's fine. <laughs> like that's when you have it. Dude, this is becoming like an anime podcast, but I do oh, oh, I yeah, do I so do nice, love bro. anime, but like um Seen something something I'll say about like the rape culture in Japan. Like uh, I, I think I, I think the thing that I don't like about <laughs> it and when I see it in animes is that it's being like it, it's being made 
into like something which is like almost accepted like because obviously a lot of japanese people watch animes and if they yeah. see girls getting like really fucking hit on in like really fucked up ways like their skirts being lifted up and all that like booby grabbing and shit like are, it's they, weird, dude. are they trying to make it like an accepted thing in well, their culture and like, yeah, if, 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 if they are then that's fine like if that's no, no, no. I, you, you i'm, I'm not one is. i don't like I telling just, people how to live i'm just yeah. asking you know i just have yeah. to tell you like the japanese society like i think they almost have this rape culture to fight that they're not reproducing enough because they're actually very polite, strict people. Uh, okay, yeah. so they, I mean, they don't mate a lot. They don't. Yeah, no, I have like I actually have like Japanese family, but it, okay, that's not really the point. But but the <laughs> thing is, is that the thing is, is that like Japanese culture, they're really um, homogenous. So so like it's very uniform. You know, kinda, everybody yeah. kind of knows the rules. You know, they know they know they know the law. Like yeah. super tight. It's not like no America, you know, where like every state's <laughs> different type of shit. It's like no, it could mean yes. everybody yeah. knows their shit with, with with regards to the to the law and stuff. And I, and I think and like, I think the, America's the only country that has that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. like and most like, countries really have strict. one set law. Yeah, Sorry. like like in Japan, it's like super strict over there. You don't do any of that stuff in real life ever. It's like it's just oh, in, it's, in, it's, in shows. It's, it's like, like fantasy. fantasy. Yeah, yeah, like, you never fantasize it, buddy, because you'll never yeah. ever do that. Okay. Like, like, All right. I think the part of the reason why it's so big is just because um, of that reason, right? They're trying to uh, get people that area because they don't they don't mate or reproduce that much. They actually have a very low birth. Yeah. Rate. No. Their yeah their their population is like slowly declining at the. All point. right. I, yeah. I'm really I'm really glad to hear that because I wasn't yeah. sure if they just no did they it. don't do that stuff in real life. Yeah. They, like and people if... barely like go to jail and shit. Okay. And and they get, have a whole US. parade on the mental uh, male genitalia. They have this, a whole yeah. parade on it too. A parade. Yeah, a parade <laughs> about dicks. Yeah, it's so weird. weird. Well, like um, a carnival or some shit. Oh yeah, like it's, huge. It's big, like a parade. People dicks. like line up and shit. You know, and, yeah, like, and people you know, just, you know dress as fun and shit. You know, and they don't. They don't. Dude, and they're doing this shit. They don't make love. <laughs> like, what's up with this? Yeah. Hit me over to Japan. I'll fix that. Real nah, because like you know what it is though. They work hard as fuck. So everyone works. You know, they like to work. They like to do their own thing. They don't want kids like you know freaking um, chaining them from doing whatever it is that they want. So yeah, they yeah. might stream RuneScape in the future in their life. So yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm <laughs> I'm super glad to hear that because I thought yeah. it was maybe yeah. it was just accepted over there and they were oh, trying to nah. like I, I'd I've hate, seen another I, by the way. I, I'd <laughs> hate to think that like ja like Japanese girls were watching these animes and thinking, oh, this is acceptable for me to be like grabbed like this by a dude because I I don't like that man. Yeah, it's like no, the only thing that's. No been memed about as like traps you know a lot of the yeah no, like like that's been more of a thing that's it, it, happening that's... yeah and, and like the thing with sub animes is that because it's like a fantasy right so it's for it, like for example you use goblin sir i watch it right but you can tell the the way that the story goes it's it's supposed to kind of like show you what real goblin raping yeah is. yeah what real <laughs> fantasy is like in, in a fantasy adventure yeah, because like it's not because like you know most shows goblins are like just you know they're they're kind of like comedic stuff, right? Yeah. But like this show. this show is basically showing you, nah, show this is what it really could be. This is really what it is. We, we've all seen goblins. So there, right? What was your what was your guys' no reaction filter. to the first rape scene? Like, what did you guys think? <laughs> okay, you go first. I mean, like, yeah, you go first. Yeah, you go. Um, he was in for it. <laughs> no. I didn't. I didn't like because I knew it was gonna happen because everyone was talking about it. I was just uh, like, okay. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah. I don't really have like, a reaction to it. Dude, I mean, you honest, definitely like... did, man. Just fucking spill the. <laughs> did you yeah, get? A, yeah. Did you get a hard on? Were you beating you your the fucking? Ocean? Were you like <laughs> pausing it for like? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I like now that <laughs> now that we've established that it's not just the culture to rape people in Japan. I fucking loved it, dude. It was awesome. Those titties were banging, dude. Like that's like the thing about anime is all the fucking women in anime. They're all fucking beautiful, dude, and that's so weird to say about a cartoon. Know, but they're all it's, like, it is. they're fucking, yeah, they're course, just made dude. perfect. I know, because that's what anime is, dude. You're fantasizing. Dude. When I saw that goblin <laughs> slap down the drawers, I was like, he's getting it, he's getting it, dude. Get uh, this shit I'm going. like, yo, man. 
<laughs> like, I'm in fear than a goblin, you know. It's like, I was like, please slap there, the yeah. cheeks when you're behind Dude, there. Please slap I, the cheeks. And he goes, Pow! I'm like, yeah. I was uh, I was high as fuck at my mate's house. It was only like a few oh. weeks ago, and oh, my my yeah. mate was like, by the way, this is quite bad. And so I didn't. I knew something was coming, and like, what was it like the first ten minutes of some woman having like her ass clawed open while she's getting <laughs> fucked by goblins? I was just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, what is this? It's like the worst part was the this. facial expression that she made. Yeah, no, I was like, funny. oh my god, oh that's that's terrorizing. Oh. I got another one. I typed it out. Helsing Ultimate. If you want uh, something really gory, like Helsing Ultimate. That is, one's pretty badass. Got a Halloween It's, it's super. No, it's super auctiony though. It's amazing. I'm, I'm still waiting for Oak to give me something super I haven't seen, dude. Come on, bro. Oh, you got literal anime in uh, your fucking videos, dude. You should have this down. I didn't I watch another, but it's like a too. horror. Right? Yeah, it's pretty. Horror. It's pretty good. <laughs> He's just trying to find me something I haven't watched, which is just the saddest flex I've ever had, but. Oh, yeah, I, I, I know an anime I really liked. It was on Netflix. It was um, what was it called? Is like was it Van Helsing or something? Or it, it was about Castlevania. Ca yeah, that's Castlevania. It. Cast oh, that I was... haven't watched it because there's only a few episodes though. Yeah, so I'm, like, I'm just gonna wait. That, that was actually the first anime I ever watched. So I just was like, fuck it, I'll give it a go. Put it on Netflix, and I was like, holy shit, this is really good. Like it, it's decent. Yeah. But I, yeah. I don't know you if know that's what... just because it was the first one I saw, but the illustrations were yeah. beautiful. Really. Yeah. Good. No. So like, I'm gonna tell you, dude. Once you like start watching, get into mm -hmm. some of the anime stuff, you'll realize there's like a huge division between a lot of the different shows. Because like, because like, you'll tell right away if a show's like, per it's like a pervert based show for like, you know, that people that likes this stuff. For who? Or if it's like a series. <laughs> i don't know man you know like for anybody that's feeling a bit horny but like but like and then you'll you'll clearly see like there there's shows that are like super serious or or like there's like type of uh it's like genres you know it's like so it's like there's like action oriented genres that's like all about action it's like dragon ball z right like that's really all it is it's like Crazy, man don't look past the jiggles dude that's all i'm yeah. saying right you've you yeah. already seen the you've seen the uh, goblin jiggles that was weird all right just let the normal <laughs> stuff get to you, all right? Oh, yeah, no, you want to watch the, like, you know, there's a lot of good stuff, though, for sure. <laughs> it, it's funny, because, yeah. like, I, I feel like in a lot of animes, like, rape is seen as, like, it, it's it's seen in a bad way. Like, the goblins raping the girl, obviously, is fucking horrible. It's, ne really? yeah. it's never, like, a good person doing it. But then I did see one anime. It was on Netflix. It was, like, this... <laughs> I don't it was a blonde-haired <laughs> blonde haired dude. Uh, what the fuck was it called? I, I can't think what he... Naruto? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to really annoy me. Though. I'm going to try to look it up. Yeah, look it up. Yeah, look it up. Right but I, I, remember, say I remember what he said. It was like, he said he could spot a girl's panties from like a mile away or something. <laughs> what kind of... Dude, <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was some weird shit. I can't think what it was called, but I stopped watching it, man. It was, it was garbage. Like, he was stealing the girl's okay. pants and shit. I, I can't think what it was called. Yeah, but... no, that, that's what. Are you talking about uh, Konosuba? No, it's no, like, no, definitely not. I think no, it's a Netflix thing. Really he, he can steal like people's panties, you know. It, it I'm all ears. I'm all ears, man. But it's different. It's different. Nah, I don't <laughs> I know what that show is. Shit, I'll watch that shit, man. All right, yeah. Goblin shit's a lot worse if you think about it. This is. I love, dude. I love Goblin Slayer because the dudes just it just I just imagine he like a level. I imagine you know? level 126, like maxed out cannon and lumbridge just slaying goblins like i love yeah. it dude like how passionate he is about hating the goblins is fucking hilarious it's badass it is very badass it's so funny yeah now honestly if you're looking for something long naruto is definitely the one i sent you basically cuts down all the fillers you know what fillers are they're just kind of like they don't they're not part of the source material they're just like extra stuff to make it longer they, they got rid of that on the yeah. link that's like the first the first Oh, I haven't Half seen Taboo. I'll, I'll check it out, dude. I'll check it out. Yeah. Hey, that one's I'm... not too great, though. That's oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking not a great one, then. Never mind, then. No yeah. jiggles, dude. Uh, I'm to think of the great ones. I, man, I just kind of remember. because I don't. I'm, I'm looking better. through some of this right now, man. By the way, chat. It, um, YouTube. All right, OSR's pocket. If you're still oh, watching, yo, man, and you're yo, some sort fate, of weave. Fate Zero, dude. Fate Zero. Amazing. Down below. Amazing action. your favorite anime. And then Amazing I'm story, it. really good story. And too. if it's trash, I ban you for life. All right, all right. <laughs> I like Fade Zero. Yeah, Fade Zero. Is a good yeah, one. Fade Zero is like honestly one of the 
more overall everything. You got everything. What do you guys think we're gonna get for the end of the podcast? Like, are, you gonna, are they gonna shit talk us, dude? Like, <laughs> yeah, honestly, like man, anime shows is pretty mainstream nowadays. Yeah, I mean, look at look at like, me. Do I, I, I do, know, right? do I look like the yeah, typical anime no. fucking watcher? No. Like, <laughs> nah. Like, I, do, am I a fucking yeah, weeb? Exactly. No, I don't. Nah. Fuck, you know, it's like obviously I have a specific like kind of anime I like. I'm not into the love heart bullshit, love stories, and all that crap. I like yeah, the fucking. Let's go. It's if there's a <laughs> solid fucking story line and it's got a fucking sick lord to it sign me up you yeah know? dude you got it yeah that's that's what i'm about to usually i mean my I guilty know. pleasure is action shows though i've seen taboo tattoo god fucking damn it dude i've seen everything it was pretty good it was all right i, I just yo yeah, yo watch monster then if you haven't seen it. <laughs> monsters like 90 episodes but it's really good though there's no fillers at all this shit looks like it's gonna give you a nightmare, man. You watch um, some crazy uh, no, shit. No, it's dude. not like it's yeah. it's not it's not like um, <coughs> it's, it's pretty realistic in a sense. Right. Like no superpowers, no nothing. You know, no super. This, this is gonna be me watching it. This is what popped up on Google, man. What is this shit? Come on, man. What is that? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it's, it's a psychological like crime thriller type. Yeah, of maybe, thing. I'm, trying I'm trying to get a little bit high. Watch something nice. You trying to get nightmares and shit. And uh, I mean, like, you, what do you what do you want? Some happy shit? Like, I've actually I seen, um, I think two, uh, <laughs> two dozen episodes of this my anime actually. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like slow though, in a sense, but you know, because because like the guys always look for somebody it built up pretty well for the art style back in the day. It wasn't too bad. I yeah. enjoyed it. Uh, I did not think this how our podcast was gonna end. But I knew it was gonna be about like, anime. So about, I like, dude, we were gonna like it's that. nice to end on like a, a happier note. You know, we got past the yeah, drama yeah. side of stuff. So, <laughs> is is there anything else you guys have to say to Oak Dice? You guys got any more questions? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have one. I have one. I just remember. so, so you know, you made it clear you like anime and stuff. So like, uh -huh. I know you put anime intros <laughs> to start your video. So like, do people give you a lot of shit for that, or it's kind of like, you know what? That's like Oak Dice. That's just him. That's his style. The thing is, in the beginning, yeah. But <clears throat> to be honest, people just they're tired of giving me shit for it. They they just accept it now. They just like oh, they, <laughs> they just accept it. It's like just look, just man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> some of those pictures I see in your video where you edit some uh, shit over, I'm like, yeah, oh, like yeah, a squid no girl, I'm like, oh my god, dude. come on, man. Come on. Oh my it's god, special, dude. beautiful. All right, Oak Dice, where can the people find you? What are your social medias, dude? Ooh, uh, mm. follow me at Twitter, dude, and YouTube Oak Dice, and that's it, dude. Okay, man. We'll sort you out in the description, guys. If you want to go over and check out Oak Dice, mm. the links are in the description. Make sure you do so, and yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up today's uh, today's podcast. Thanks for watching, yep, boys. Yep. Bye-bye. T-shirts yeah. down below. <laughs> Thank you.